you go somewhere to satisfy that that tendency. You know, and you and you probably might be right. You know, maybe you maybe you should have found that before you got married, before you had a girlfriend. Maybe you should have found that. Hey, you know, this this little all around woman, you know, she like she like fucking in the pussy and fucking in the ass. But sometimes opposite opposite attracts and you can't find and you can't find that. You know? But you I guess guys settle for who they who 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 who, who they with. You do do I make any sense? Okay, so let me let me ask you this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go ahead. Everybody, mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. has things that they do. Some people have not even experienced things yet that they don't even know that they do enjoy doing because they ain't had it yet. So. Right. I say this. I'm asking this. What? Wait, wait, you say you was married, right? Oh, I'm out in new. That me, me and my wife, we yeah. 2015 after 25 years, yeah, we're we're pretty much done. I I initiated uh, initiated the situation. She made a follow up. We tried to come back to the table, and she decided not to. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't want to bring it up. But oh, when no, you no, no, when you met good. your wife, yeah, yeah. When you met your wife, mm-hmm. your wife, you know, you dated. Mm-hmm. You let me ask you a question. Do you feel before you met your wife? Do you feel that you did you feel that you knew her? Like, like you didn't move it. Y'all didn't get married, and then you started learning different things about her that you didn't know. So when y'all got married, did you feel that you knew all these things and everything that was going on that you already knew. Because this this thing that Kevin Samuel keeps talking about is if a man knows if he wants to marry you in six months, a man don't even know you in six months. He don't. I, you know in what? six months, a man don't even know how you really act when you when it's months. that time right. of the month. Because you will sometimes, you, man, you really, really, but you don't even want to show that person that. How would you really know a per if you want to be with a person for the rest of your life in six months? Mm. You, you might go. Now I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it can work. Sometimes it can work. But you still in six months, you dating someone. You seeing what on the weekends? Most people go to work, mm-hmm. so you know the weekend get here. You go out or whatever. You do. You do or whatever. You go back home and you know y'all doing this or whatever. Um, you 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 still don't know that person, right. so uh, you know I, I see that on social media a lot. You know, with that you know when Kevin Samuel said it and every all the guys like that's so true, that's so true, and it and it goes that way <laughs> on both sides that he don't Excuse know her me. and she don't know him. Well, with in me, six months with me, me before I got married. Me and my wife was was together. We we got together in eighty eight. Yeah, we we got together in eighty eight. Ninety one. Ninety two. I, I can't remember. I, I know it was twenty five years ago. Plus twenty five plus. Uh, Sean was born in ninety six. So I got I I got married. It, it was it was at least a couple of years after you know after we started dating, and th- you know we had our first we had, we even had our first issue. You know, brother man stepped out, but you know I apologized and all like that, and you know did everything I need to do to get her back. So yeah, I I think after. You know, after a couple of years, you know, I may not know everything, but I I knew enough that I I knew enough that I wanted to marry her. Now, six months, nah, bro, you you're not gonna know it. You you're not gonna know a chick in six months. That's that's infatuation. That's 
that's a fatuation that's that's kicking in. Oh man, I love this girl. And then, you know, six months later, I want to marry her. No, you need time, bro. You need time to you need time to marinate on that woman, you know. See what type of woman she is. I mean, you know, in the first six months, you'll you'll start to get a feel for her. You know, is, is she gonna is is you know to see if she's right for you? Is she gonna be a worker? Do you want her to work? Do you want her to do you, do you want her to work? Do she got ambitions or is she just there for the do my hair and nails fits? You know, you know, you'll start to learn that shit in the first six months. Then you're gonna need another six months to see if you can to see if you're gonna if you're gonna tolerate that shit. Same thing for the woman. You know, in the first six months, you know, is the dude gonna be that protector? Is he gonna be the provider? Is he gonna be is he gonna be the is he gonna be the strong one? Now he's not gonna be no simp or nothing like that. At least I hope he's not. But um but uh you you'll know within the first six months of of how he's gonna act to you. I mean towards you. And then in the second and third six months, that's when you figure that, oh, okay, well, I'm going to tolerate this dude, and then I think I can marry him. I mean, me, like I like I said, me, I, I've been married for a long time. Am I going to get married again? No. No. I'm done. One and done for me. I'm good. I'm in my 50s. I'm not trying to. Not not trying to start all over again and all like that. I'm okay. But but for guys that's you know that's that's looking for marriage, I I don't think six months is enough time to know a person. Guy or female. Okay. Mm, speechless over there. Yeah. <laughs> what do you what What do you think? What, what do you think? Do you, I, do you think? I just think that people you, should get. Mm-hmm. Do I think what? Hold on. What you say now? No, I just was saying. I think that people should really get to know each other, and I think I don't care what you like. I think you should be able to express that. Because to, to me, your spouse should be your best friend. Right. Your best friend. So your best friend should know everything about you. Exactly. Like, what makes them happy? What pleases them? I wouldn't want my husband being pleased by someone else. I agree. I agree. But the and same that's where the conversation I, I comes it. in at. I hear this from so many men. Mm-hmm. If my Now, we already know. This across the board. Women always forget their husband and take them back. But always hear this from men. If my wife cheat on me, it's over. It's over. Why is it over? You cheated on her? Because if my wife cheated on me, that means she had some type of feelings for this man. Because women don't usually just go out and cheat. And I, mm. I, I always say, if a woman cheat, some. Some women just do it because that's what they do. But most women... If Do it out cheat, of feelings. It's it's because the man is is making them feel or something like his attention is somewhere else. Now she probably didn't had a discussion with him, but he still did him. Like I said, most women that I talk to, their husbands are never home, never home. Now I would just say this. <laughs> I always say when I get married, my husband got to be retired already. He can't go to work. He can't. Go to work. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I am so serious. Reason is this. Well, <laughs> when I go to work, then I go to work. And I know most men, and most people be like, are you serious? But most women, they laugh and they be like, you're so, you're telling the truth because it happens to them. Work is a place where you're supposed to go to work and go home. No, when you're at work, man, no men be like all over you. They they got wives at home. They got girls at home. Do you know how many men I hear telling their girls, 
and they call overtime at the last minute. I'm just sitting there looking like, wow, really? Man, I got to go see my baby. I work with a man. He's married. He likes this girl so much at work. When the girl changed her shift, he changed his shift right with her so he could make sure he see her every day and spend time with her. I was like, I guess, but they say this is what men do. Um, they said that's what they do. I just say okay. Oh man, wow. Mm. I mean, do you know the easiest thing that you could get in the world? To, let me ask you this: What's the easiest thing you can get in the world? Uh, I want to say booty. Yes, it is. So let me tell you. Okay. You can get that. Before you can get a meal, you could be hungry, but a man won't have sex before he even feeds. So, and with that being the easiest thing you could get, right? Why is it being? Why is it a billion dollar? Point is a billion dollar industry. Why? Why? I mean, I know getting it physically got to be better than watching it. I know it got to. Of course. So why people that's, that's still why pay? I never that's why oh. I never pay for it. Me personally, uh, I, I tell people all the time, like, yo, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna pay like 30, 40 bucks, I, I, I wanted to, no, now I, that's you. But do you see how many people who still paying it because that's still what they want? They still want to watch that, and they still pay. That's why they yep. still keep making it. They still. That's why it got all this money or whatever in it. Of that's course. Why. Because, like, I don't. And this is another thing I don't understand. All this sex trafficking. What is it about a woman not wanting to have sex turns me and all? What? Because if you was gonna kidnap a girl and making her have sex, like you gotta know she don't want to do it, but you don't even care. You didn't pay. These people, I don't know how much for this or whatever. That's crazy to me. But that's another billion dollar thing that's going on. We're all at, you know, selling the girls and all that. That's just, I don't know. So. Yeah, that's, that's some crazy shit, too. Hold on, right 